A man was jailed under a large bond amount after being charged with multiple offenses, including felonious restraint. The suspect was scheduled to make a first court appearance today. 44-year-old Kenneth Lee Whitehead of Social Circle, Georgia, was arrested Friday by Caldwell County Sheriff's officers. He's charged with felonious restraint and felony possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Whitehead was incarcerated in the Caldwell County Detention Center. Under $1 million secured bond, a district court date was scheduled for today. 37-year-old Brandon Edward Miller of Winhurst Street in Lenore was arrested Friday by Lenore police officers. He's charged with felony counts of possession with intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver methamphetamine and schedule for controlled substance and manufacture, sell, deliver, or possess controlled substance on or near a playground. Miller was jailed in the Caldwell County Detention Center under a $125,000 secured bond. A district court appearance was scheduled for today. The next suspect is a Granite Falls resident who was arrested on a felony forgery-related count. 40-year-old Sterling Dion Dula of Baker Circle in Granite Falls was arrested Thursday by Lenore Police. He's charged with felony uttering a forged instrument. In addition, Dula is charged with failure to appear on misdemeanor counts of second-degree trespassing, fictitious or altered title, registration card or tag, and possession of stolen goods or property. Dula was incarcerated in the Caldwell County Detention Center under $6,500 secured bond. His next district court date is June 8th. 35-year-old Amanda Irene Andrews of Union Baptist Road in Lenore was arrested by Lenore police last Wednesday and charged with felony possession of methamphetamine and misdemeanor possession of drug paraphernalia. Andrews was taken to the Caldwell County Detention Center with bonds set at $1,000 secured. She was scheduled to appear in district court last Thursday. No upcoming court dates were listed. Reporting for WHKY-TV News, I'm Rob Eastwood.